Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a custom calendar from Microsoft Excel. And to do that we're going to get it from calendarlabs.com. So this website offers free calendars for, you know, Word, Excel, OneNote, uh, PDFs. Uh, most of the stuff is free. Some stuff you got to sign up for to, to actually use. But we're going to do this uh, free Excel calendar. So once you go to the site here, I'll put a link in the description. You want to go to the uh, 2022 calendar templates for Excel right here. And then you'll see you've got some samples here. There's different types. There's editable, landscape, fillable, three-month sample, you know, all kinds of different kinds. But we're just going to do the uh, basic editable one. So if you click on Customize, you could pick your year. You could pick your months, uh, where you want to start, and how many months you want to go out. So we're going to start in July. Let's just go six months to the end of the year. And we'll do United States. You could pick whatever country you like, language, add your own events. If you do that, you're going to have to sign up for an account. It's a free account. Not sure if they're going to charge you or want to charge you for custom stuff, but I don't think so. Uh, then you got more options. Or if you want to start on Monday, include the week numbers, include your own events, colors, black and white or color, add religious days. And once you have everything configured, just click on Create Excel Calendar. And then let's save it as, let's save it on the desktop. Okay, so now we got our calendar here, monthly calendar. Okay, so we got our calendars open in uh, protective view because this was downloaded from the internet. So we can click on enable editing if we want to edit it. And we can shrink it down so we can see the whole thing here. And they're going to put their little logo at the end. There's a little link that you if you click on it, it'll take you to the website, so you could actually just delete it if you want to get rid of it, but it's going to put it on every page. Then it also has some notes here you could type in. You know, so once you're here, you could uh, add your event, so you could change this, and it gives you two lines here to add something, you know, like that if you like. And if you want to change the colors, you could just highlight the whole thing and so on. Then you could edit this stuff. You want to change the font and all that other good stuff. So each month will be on its own tab here. So you can move them around. You could rename them. You could delete certain months if you just want another one. And you could even copy it to another worksheet. So let's say you wanted to uh, take this thing. There's a couple ways you could do it. You could let's do a new uh, file here. Say we copied this. You could paste it in like that, but you're going to have to realign stuff. Or you could uh, take the tab itself, right-click on it, move or copy. So and then you could pick. Once you have your spreadsheet open, you could pick that, and then you could decide where you want to put it. So let's click on create a copy. And so now instead of having it all out of whack like that, it's copied right over in a new cell or new tab, I should say, formatted just like it was in the other one. All right, so once again, just like I said, just go to the uh, website, find the uh, Excel calendar section, and then just choose your format, change any customization options you want to do download it and then you'll be uh, good to go pretty simple all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe